Hey, what's up guys? So today let's talk about my truck vault. Now my truck vault is one of those uh, kind of specific items that not everybody's going to have. Uh, but for me, somebody that travels a lot, drives a lot of places and carries a lot of expensive stuff, including night vision and stuff, I really try to have a storage uh, or a way to store it in my car if I go in for dinner or if I'm stopping uh, somewhere between um, my hotels and my, my ranges. Uh, I still bring everything into my hotel. I will say that because I, I'm paranoid as hell when it comes to losing my equipment uh, to the point where I have a tracker in my Pelican case when I fly places. So I'm, I'm very uh, paranoid when it comes to that. So I try to be very safe when it comes to not letting guns get into other people's hands, especially people that are going to steal them, which are usually not the good type, right? Good Samaritan type. So um, with that, my truck vault was something that I thought about and I was like for, for almost, <laughs> I would say like a year and a half, two years maybe that I went through different iterations. I'm like, yes, I need it. Yes, I don't. Yes, I need it. No, I don't. And like, I kept like hopping around a bit. And then I also wanted some, some specific stuff, right? I wanted to make sure my truck vault had a drawer that was actually a table. Uh, because I end up working on a lot of people's guns um, and over the years I've dropped a few pieces that went down into my my trunk cargo space and all the way down into where the spare tire is and I'm like well that's gone <laughs> so um, so the little table is much more helpful and uh, and and if you look at it here like you can see that there is uh, it, it locks out and then I have to unlock it to store it in so I can hold or I can have it on a on an angle of sorts. So it's actually a really cool table. It's pretty tough. Um, I can't like sit on it. So it's not strong enough for that, or at least I don't want to sit on it. <laughs> but uh, but it does it does hold all my shit if I need to like start working on like somebody's night vision, clean something, whatever it is. And then, uh, and then also I've been thinking about putting like a little magnetic strip on there uh, so that I can drop parts on it. So thin magnet. I uh, just haven't gotten around to kind of looking for different ones on like Amazon or something. Something that'll stick on and, and be thin enough to slide in. So eventually I'll find something and play around with it and see if that's uh, viable enough for me to use. But something so that I can use that. Now, most of the time I'll use like one of those little Magpul trays or something like that so that I don't lose stuff. Or the magnet that's on my Fix-It Sticks pack. Um, I'll use that for little parts and stuff too. Now, uh, going further, right, you can see like the uh, the side of the truck bolts are kind of felty or they, they're supposed to blend in with the interior of cars. Um, uh, it doesn't really blend in with my interior because I don't have any like felty stuff in my car. But uh, at the same time, it does give me surface that I can stick Velcro items on to include patches. I have a little admin panel on there that you can see and it has like pens and like you know, 550 cord, random things that I need on, on a normal basis. Like, hey, if I need this, I have it. Um, sometimes I throw like Pedialyte little powder packets in there so that I have them readily readily on hand. Um, and then uh, and then I can stick whatever I want. So even like uh, a set of gloves that are on a little uh, hanger, I can clip those on there. Uh, if I have different panels for my, my uh, body armor and stuff for my kit, I can stick those on there. So you have a lot of options when it comes down to it, but it's up to you on how you want to use your stuff, right? Um, going on the inside, right, uh, I, I like, uh, or, or actually let's talk about the top. So going to the top, you can see like I, <laughs> I keep a bunch of shit on top there, um, but I asked for a specific lip and, and they offered an a inch and a half lip that they'll drill on there and it goes all the way around um, and gives me some area that I can kind of like throw targets up there I could throw little bags my ear pro different things like that 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 I just don't put in the drawer one because it it wastes space in that drawer because I try to save that for guns and stuff uh, that's important uh, but it also gives me somewhere I could just toss things if I needed uh, whether it's batteries or, or if it's some kind of like you know extra shit of some sort now going into the inside now um, what I have is a drawer that's about 10 inches deep, I think a little bit more than 10 inches deep, and, and about 17 inches wide. So I asked for a specific size because I didn't want to take up my entire trunk with this, even though now thinking back on it, I'm like, man, maybe I should have. But at the same time, I have ammo cans, things like that, that I don't want to pull out of my car if I don't need to. I usually work out of the back of my car when I have it. So 
this was something I really wanted was just to take up half and that way I can even put longer items across the back end of my car. So doing that, I have this little drawer, but the drawer is actually bigger than most uh, my Pelican 16. Uh, it's, it's a little taller than 1615. It's just as wide though. So it gives me all the room that that thing has plus some. And I fit a lot of stuff in that case when I travel. So it gave me the same kind of capacity, which is something I was looking for because then I have the same options when it comes to sh uh, traveling with stuff and I don't overstuff my things. But here I can, you can see like I could fit body armor in here, I could fit a rifle, I could fit handguns, I can fit my belt, I can fit my night vision with the helmet um, and then still have room for things. And on the sides, once again, it's, it's kind of Velcro-y lined or at least Velcro sticks to it. So I use other panels and random things that I have that are extra to hold other items inside of there. So I have uh, one, a, a little grabber for my rifle that'll you know stick in there so my rifle can stay upright and it's readily available. It doesn't like fold under or get stuck under everything. Um, I have one that holds like my suppressor because my, my drawer is not deep enough to keep my can on there, but that's fine. And then I also have like a room that on the sides there that I can put um, mags I could put if I wanted to handguns in those those mag pouches because it's just there to for storage um, and then and then anything else that I kind of feel like I need in there I can go ahead and stick so one of the reasons I really like this is because because of the velcro option I can throw whatever in there and then and stabilize it in different ways so they're not sliding around little things like my suppressor that's one of the reasons I, I clip it to the side or Velcro it to the side is because it slid around so much I could hear it um, and bang to one side, roll, bang to the other side, roll, bang. To, so so I, I refused to deal with that. So I, I figured out a way. But my truck vault in general, guys, these things are expensive. Um, I did not get like a cool discount on it. And, uh, and I don't think there is one because they don't care about you uh, in that way. Uh, but what you uh, what you do is is you get what you pay for so if you buy something super cheap um and and hope for the best rock on man but uh i've seen a lot of guys build their own going through the years of trying to figure out what i wanted and uh and i'm not handy enough to build something so elaborate with a drawer with a table and all this stuff which some of you probably are that's cool man rock on build it yourself but i couldn't so and i don't have the time to so i rather invest in it and then write it off on my taxes next year. So hopefully this is, is something that gave you guys some ideas and uh, and those of you that have truck vaults, um, hey, mention how you use yours. It's kind of cool to kind of see the different ways people do it and, uh, and also give ideas to other people. So this is one of the biggest purposes that I make this video. So hopefully that makes sense, guys, and, uh, and my crazy way of uh, explaining <laughs> and, then, and also the crazy way that I have my truck vault set up. But it's my way and uh and it's the way i like it right now so it'll change over the years but it's pretty cool <laughs> hopefully that makes sense and uh and you guys uh enjoy take care